Welcome back everybody, my name is Philip and today, or rather last night, it happened. Exactly, it snowed. Well, for you that might be nothing special, but if you do live in Ireland, in Dublin, then having snow on the balcony or having snow anywhere is rather rare. And what do we do on a snowy day like this? We will, of course, edit pictures. So today we will do something very simple. We will take Photoshop and we will not do any HDR stuff. Today we will just take a simple night image that I have taken in New York recently and we're gonna pump up that colors. We're gonna make that image pop, literally. Not literally, but figuratively. I don't know why I would confuse myself like that. But you get the idea. We're gonna keep it easy, we're gonna keep it simple, we're gonna use the basic adjustments to get that image to the next level in less than five minutes. Hopefully. So let's jump right into Photoshop. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take care of a couple of parts of the picture, but in very quick succession. The first one is obviously we have this really nice sun on the right hand side right here. So I wanna make sure that in this particular case, there is a bit more red. In fact, I wanna intensify the colors everywhere, especially in this kind of middle line that we have here. Then we're gonna take care of this beautiful reflection that we have down here, because I want to kind of bring that out a bit more. And also, of course, in the sky, we do have some clouds that are kind of not visible right now. So we will make them visible. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna kick myself off the screen and let's jump right in. Now, the first thing we want to do is, as I said, take care of the colors or increase the colors a little bit. Now, we can easily do that by just simply using a, a hue saturation adjustment layer on the right hand side right here. So let's click on that and we're going to increase or pump up the saturation. Now, when you do that, actually, I'm going to hit the F button. We're going to go in this window and let's push it to the side here. If we do that, you can see that the image right away comes way more to life than it has been before. So if you concentrate on the left hand side sky right here, it's taken a really beautiful reddish color. And also if you look at the sky, this kind of blue really comes out just beautifully well. So let's increase that to an extent that we feel happy with it, maybe to something like that. Yeah, that doesn't, look, that doesn't look bad. Okay, I like that. So let's close that down and let's see what we have done with this simple one step. We have kind of popped the image. So the image looks good, but there is a bit too much yellow in the buildings and stuff like that. So we need to reduce the yellow, otherwise it kind of looks fakeish, right? So we can reduce it in just a moment. Now, now that we have taken care of the color, let's have a look at the actual image itself. If you look at the image, where is your eye drawn to? For me right now, it's somewhere in this middle part, but I can't really pinpoint where exactly. What I want to do is I want to brighten up only this middle part of the image. Very simple to do. Let's grab a curve adjustment layer for that and just drag the curve adjustment up. Let's drag it up to something like, maybe something like this. Close it down and now on my keyboard, I will hit Command or if you're on the Windows, Control and I to invert that layer and therefore hide the adjustment that we have just made. I want to make sure that this brightness adjustment is only visible in the center of the image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab on the top left hand corner my marquee tool. You can also just hit the M button on your keyboard and I'm gonna draw a rectangle just around the center, maybe something like that. I'm gonna hit Shift and Backspace and fill that space with white. And then I'm gonna hit Command or Control and D to deselect that again. Now, once we have that, you can see we have this kind of brightness adjustment, but it's only really it looks weird. I mean, it's even kind of cool, but it does look also weird because we have this sharp edge here. No problem. Let's jump off to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, or Gaussian, Gaussian, Gaussian. Hmm. And we're going to blur the whole thing out of it. We're going to blur it out of it. No, we're going to blur the hell out of it. Maybe something like 200 pixels, something like that. Cool. So this will make this sharp edge that we just had disappear. And now we have really only brightened the center part of the image just like that. And to be honest, I don't think we even need to make local adjustments because it does look good enough. Cool. What we're going to do next is we're going to probably take care of these buildings and then we're already nearly done. Awesome. So let's have a look at these buildings. You see there is a lot of yellow in these buildings if I zoom in. And that's primarily because we have used the saturation, right? So of course, it's going to increase the yellow in the building. So let's get rid of this a little bit. There are many ways to do that, but we're going to use a very simple one. Just grab the hue saturation layer and here switch over from master to yellow. 
And once we have that, we're just going to reduce the saturation of the, of the yellows a little bit. And also we can probably bring up the lightness a little bit, something like that. Close that down. And now if I look at the before and after, the yellow has definitely calmed down a little bit, which is good. It was far too much before. Now, I only want this to be visible in the building and not necessarily on the sunset, where the effect also takes out some of the yellow. So very simple. We're going to hit Command or Control and I on your keyboard. Get your brush with B on your keyboard. First, make that visible. And let's take a nice and large brush with an opacity of, doesn't really matter, 100%. I'm just going to bring in the yellow reduction, if you want, in the buildings. I can also bring it in a little bit here, but I don't think we have to. OK, so if we have a look at the before and the after, now this kind of fakish yellow glow has left the buildings, which is very nice, which is exactly what we wanted. Now, while we are at it, I'm just actually seeing that there is a little blob or something on the top left corner right here. Uh, let me actually illustrate that a bit more. I'm just going to increase the brightness, then you can actually see it, this thing. And I just probably had some dirt on my sensor or my lens, and it happens all the time. And I'm kind of getting used to remove that stuff simply in Photoshop. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer by hitting Command or Control, Alt, Shift, and N for No or for New Layer. <laughs> and then we're going to um, hit J on the keyboard for our Spot Healing Brush tool. And I'm just going to tap. Tap it, and it's gone. That's exactly what we want. Perfect. I like these kind of simple fixes. Pro probably some more spots in the sky, but oh, I think I can actually see one right here. You, you must go. OK, that's fine. I can live with that. Perfect. Now, the last thing that we might want to do is we could add some more detail to the reflection. So let's hit Command or Control, Alt, Shift, and E on the keyboard. What this will do, it will create a layer that combines everything that is currently visible into a separate layer. OK, so now I have this layer on my right hand side right here. And I can now use it to go to Filter and then the Camera Raw Filter. Now, I'm just going to do a very, very simple and quick clarity slider adjustment here. So if I turn that to the right, yo, Photoshop. If I turn that to the right you, and you look only at the reflection, you can see that the reflection gets more detailed as I do it, or it just becomes a bit more crunchy. And I kind of like this in this case. So I'm going to crank it up to something like that, hit the OK button, and now I'm going to pop a layer mask on it and hit Command or Control I to hide the effect. Again, with a nice and large brush and an opacity of whatever you want, I can now start to brush this effect into my image as much as I like to. Maybe something like that, and maybe even here a little bit. Awesome, liking this a lot. Now, now that we're in the camera raw filter, we could also do more if we wanted to. So let's go back to a stamp visible, which is the Command or Control, Alt, Shift, and E. So in other words, we just copy everything on a separate layer. And now we're going to go back to filter and then camera raw filter. And with this tiny or last adjustment I want to do, I'm just looking at the temperature and the turned tint hmm, slider on the top right right here. So we could push the image a little bit more into the magenta if we felt like. And I actually kind of like that. And we could also bring it a bit more into the yellows. But this would kind of, it would make the buildings look interesting. Let's do it extreme. No, we don't like that. I think a little bit into the magenta realm is actually all we need to do. I kind of I kind of like that. So let's push it to something like maybe just a little bit to something like that. Cool. Hit the OK button. And I think we are actually good to go. Now let's have a quick look at the before and after. This is what uh, with anything without anything essentially. So no color adjustments, no nothing. And just a couple of minutes work and we have brought the image back to life, made the colors pop a little bit at least and have also fixed the buildings and have also fixed the sky a little bit. So you see a super fix edit. Doesn't take much time at all. Simple techniques and it's super fun because the results are immediately visible. And what else do you do on a snowy day like this? Well, you just simply keep going with more images and then more images and then more images. Also on that note, I'm very sorry that I wasn't able to keep up with the recordings recently. I, as you might see from the background, had to move house. So I have my, found myself a very nice, lovely penthouse. So from now on, I can at least pump these videos out twice a week as usual. Um, and one day I'm going to give you a quick house tour, but uh, not today. This video was meant to be kept short and I hope you liked it. If you did like the video, do not forget to hit the thumbs up button. And also, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's going to help out a lot. Other than that, if you're living in a snowy area, go out and build a snowman because that's exactly what I will do now. Anybody wants to build a snowman? I'll do it by myself then. I'll see you next time and you guys have a good one.